and welcome to a UPI White House Weekly. I'm Melissa Hinkle in for Kristen Volk. It's raining here in Washington, D.C., so we're inside on Capitol Hill today. President Obama is still looking for a legal way to block $165 million in bonus payments for AIG executives. The insurance giant paid the bonuses using some of the bailout money it received from the government, a move that set off a public outcry and a bipartisan backlash from politicians. Lawmakers grilled AIG CEO Edward Liddy on Capitol Hill this week. Liddy says he'll ask employees who received $100,000 or more to return at least half the money. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner claims he just found out about the bonuses last week, but there's speculation that he may have known earlier. Senator Chris Dodd said an amendment to the economic stimulus legislation he authored may have given AIG the go-ahead to issue the bonus payments. Obama called the bonuses an inappropriate use of taxpayer funds and says he's pushing for legislation to prevent similar situations from happening in the future. Following his remarks, the president flew to California for a two-day trip. This is the first time Obama has visited the state as president. He addressed a crowd of more than a thousand at a town hall meeting in Costa Mesa, California on Wednesday. Obama took questions from audience members and touched on issues like immigration and the economy. He also talked about the AIG bonuses, calling the controversy a smaller part of a larger problem. The president held another town hall style meeting in downtown Los Angeles today. He'll follow that with an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. This marks the first time a sitting president has appeared on a late night talk show. The first lady and a lineup of A-list celebrities visited Washington area schools today. The event is part of Michelle Obama's celebration of Women's History Month. Stars like Alicia Keys, Sheryl Crow, Debbie Allen and Alfre Woodard accompanied the first lady to talk to students about setting career goals and reaching their dreams. The Obama administration said the school visits were meant to engage with the D.C. community and open the White House for arts, culture and educational purposes. The celebrities are scheduled to return to the White House this evening for dinner, accompanied by some students from D.C. area schools. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this White House Weekly and join us next week for another one.